Me and I have been secretly dating for a few months now. Why secretly? Our parents don't want their children dating someone so different. To use their euphemism of choice. My mom is all up in my relationships, too. You know Hiram Lodge? Ah, uh, yes. Dude is ripped. And a petty criminal. He's a self-starter who provides for his family. But to my mom, he's a scrub. Sangre, sudor y lágrimas. That's the way to the American dream, mija. But what dream? She cleans hotel rooms in that stupid five seasons, 16 hours a day. Hiram's got the right idea. Get out of Riverdale, no matter what you have to do. Yeah, except Riverdale is not the problem. Me? I want to stay here my whole life. <laughs> is that how long it's going to take you to decide between music or baseball? Our minor league is solid. And we're close enough to the city to play music gigs. This town's got it all. Could even see myself running for mayor one day. Ugh, nightmare job. Why not shoot for something bigger? You can do all those things in a real metropolis. Yeah, except look after my dad. He's sick. Real sick. And he took care of me my whole life. So now, it's my turn. Alice, you're up. What's your deepest, darkest secret? Um, let's skip her. Alice, just tell them about the time you lit a dumpster on fire on the south side. Why don't you tell them that you actually live in Sunnyside Trailer Park? I thought you lived on Elm Street. Yeah, of course. Because that's what Forsyth wants you to believe. You parade around the school in your varsity jacket like a North Sider. Don't kid yourself. You'll never escape the South Side. You're gonna end up just like your dad, downing six packs in your double wide. Maybe. I'm not gonna hit my kid. Okay. I guess that just leaves me. Fair is fair. The Blossoms, they're terrible people. But Penelope, you're a Blossom. No, I'm not. Not really. I grew up at the Sisters of Quiet Mercy Orphanage. Oh my god, Penelope, that place has, like, violated every humanitarian code. When I was eight, the Blossoms came and asked to see all the red-headed children. The next thing I knew, I was leaving with them. I was so excited. I very quickly realized this was not an altruistic adoption. I was being groomed to first be Clifford's sister, then eventually his life companion. <laughs>